let's discuss the concept of freezing of a lake. Say, this is a lake bed and water is filled up to a particular height in a lake. We know well that a lake starts freezing out when the atmospheric temperature is below zero degree centigrade. Say, the temperature of air above the lake is minus T degree centigrade and uh, the water in the lake is at zero degree centigrade. And obviously, heat from water will be flown towards atmospheric air due to which when at zero degree centigrade water will lose the heat, it will freeze out. Obviously, as the heat is conducted to the surrounding air from the top of this lake, the lake will start freezing out from its top. Let us consider up to a width x from the top, the lake is frozen and water is frozen to ice. So, the water which is just below the ice, if some amount of heat dq is conducted to the surrounding atmosphere, then the rate of flow of this heat depends on the thickness of this ice as well as conductivity of ice. And when the water just below this ice slab is at zero degree centigrade and it will lose heat. Further, we can say that a thickness of what the dx of water will freeze out. Now, here we can state the rate of heat conduction through this ice slab, which is already frozen in the lake, can be given as dq by dt is equal to if we are having the conductivity of ice as k, we can write this k a. Obviously, the difference in temperature will be zero minus or minus t will be t divided by x. As we directly use the phenomena of steady state of heat conduction as dq by dt is equals to k a delta t by x. Now, in this situation, this amount of heat dq which is flown, because of this dq, a further layer of what the dx of water is frozen. So, this dq will be released by this water in form of latent heat. We can say if Lf is latent heat of fusion, of ice, here we can write this dq is equals to mass of this layer of what the dx multiplied by the latent heat. So, if we consider total area of the slab, which is frozen as A, and we can find out its mass as density of ice multiplied by area multiplied by dx. So, this will be the mass of the layer which is frozen. This multiplied by latent heat of fusion can be written as dq. So, we substitute it here, the relation will be rho a l f dx by dt is equals to k a t by x. Here, this area further gets cancelled out and rearranging the terms will get x dx is equals to k t by rho l f into dt. Now, we integrate these terms at t equal to zero if the lake was just about to freeze, x was zero and at a time t, lake is frozen to a depth x. And now, integrating this will give us x square by two is equals to k t by rho l f multiplied by t, which gives us the time taken to freeze a slab of width x is rho l f by two k t multiplied by x square. Here we can say that the time is directly proportional to square of the depth up to which the lake is frozen. So, based on this relation, many various numerical problems can be framed that you will see soon.